amis, Pete Gray, welcome to a Yeshino family. Kate Dishinikasho, my name is Kate. I want to start in a good way and say that we are very thankful to the Esquimalt, Songhees, Beecher Bay, and Souk nations for sharing their beautiful traditional lands with us here at Island Métis. Starting in a good way means that our hearts and our minds are open. We're ready to have fun together. Let's take three deep breaths. Slow, deep breaths help our mind and body feel calm. One. Two. Three. We're going to start with our hello song, of course. In the language of our Métis ancestors, called Michif, we say Tashe when we want to say hello. When we want to say, how are you? We say Tashe Kia. And when we want to say, how are you today? We say Tashe Kia Anush. And that's our hello song. See if you can sing it with me. Tanche, Tanche, Kia, Tanche, Tanche, Kia, Tanche, Tanche, Kia, Tanche, Kia, Nosh. That was great. One more time. Tanche, Tanche, Kia, Tanche, Tanche, Kia, Tanche, Tanche, Kia, Tanche, Kia, Nosh. Do you remember our little Métis song? Our violin picture is hard to see. I just want to show you one more time what a violin looks like. There it is. Now we can sing our little Métis song. Violin, I keep calling it violin. It's a fiddle, this one. And the difference between a violin and a fiddle is how you tune it. That's a fiddle. You're a little Métis, so let's sing our song. I'm a little Métis from head to toe. Ooh. Here is my fiddle, here is my bow. When I play for people, I always shout, Hooray for the Métis, strong and proud. Did you stand up to sing our song? Stand up. I can't stand up. I don't have enough space. But you can. Ready? I'm a little Métis from head to toe. Here is my fiddle, here is my bow. When I play for people, I always shout, hooray for the Métis, strong and proud. That was wonderful. Let's sing another song. One, two, caribou. Three, four, fishing by the shore. Five, six, a fire with sticks. Seven, eight, bannock we make. Ooh, let's knead the dough. Nine, ten, camping again. Do you remember what we've been learning from the bison? There's Mr. Bison. Mr. Bison, will you please sing your song for us today? Sure, I love that. Okay, do you remember the song that Mr. Bison sings? Sing it with us. I'm a little bison, wild and free, roaming the prairies where you'll find me. Whenever I feel itchy, I have found, it feels really good to roll on the ground. Second verse. I'm a little bison, wild and free, I teach respect to little matey. I'm kind to you, and you are kind to me. We care for the land, for others, and for me. Well, that was a very nice song. Thank you, Mr. Bison, for sharing it with us. That's right. Mr. Bison has been teaching us respect. And we want to celebrate Mr. Bison. So today, we're going to make a hand print painting of a bison. Let's, let's get creative. 
All right. Did you know that people have been painting bison for more than 15,000 years? Just imagine there's a cave in Spain with a painting of a bison on it. Colored paintings in a cave. We're going to make our own amazing bison paintings, but we don't have a cave to paint. So we're going to use a little canvas. Or if you don't have a canvas, you can use a piece of paper. Our canvas is kind of little, but you know what? It's just the right size for your little hand to turn into a bison. Or if you don't want to get your hand messy, maybe you can use your grown-up's hand. Let's see what we need to make our bison paintings. Well, first we need a canvas, right? We have one of those. That's good. We're ready. And we need paint. So here I have, can you see that? It's so small. Dark brown. And this one is a lighter shade of brown. And this is just a little bit of black paint. Oh, we need a paintbrush. And look at that. I'm ready. When my hand is messy, I'm going to wipe it off with these nice wipes. And my hands will be clean because I don't have a cloth to wipe my hands with. But if you have a reusable cloth, that's a better idea. So that it's better for the environment to use a reusable cloth. Oh, I know. Did you remember to bring a hand? I have a hand. Do you, are you using your hand or your grown up's hand or your friend's hand to make sure that my mess stays in one place? I'm going to do all of my work right here on my messy tray. I also wanted to show you, I don't have other colors today, so I'm going to use um, my paint pens to finish off my bison painting. We'll get to that after. I've got the important colors right here. You know what? It's time to paint your hand. So I'm going to take the light brown color and I'm going to put it on my paintbrush. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. And look at me. I'm going to paint my hand brown. I'm going to put my hand print right here. Put your hand on the canvas with your fingers spread wide. Now make sure you press down on each finger. How many fingers do you have? One, two, three, four, five. And then make sure you lean back on the back of your palm there. Oh, or maybe on the inside of your palm. Whoop, well, that's a little better. Now it's time definitely to wipe off my paint. You can wipe the paint off your hand too. While we're waiting for our handprint to dry, how about we sing another song? Do you like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? I do. And I can sing it in English and in sign language. Will you sing Twinkle Little Star with me? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, 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 little star, how I wonder what you are. I think our painting is dry enough. We can turn this handprint into ba -ba -ba -ba, a bison. What's next to turn this handprint into a bison? Now we're going to use the dark brown paint. And we are going to make a furry head over here beside your palm. We're going to make a space point down there. And his furry shoulders. 
Oh, maybe add a little bit of black. Add some more brown. There we go, make it a little darker. So his head and his shoulders, whoa, whoa, a little more black and lots more dark brown. There we go, mix them together while we're adding that there. His big, big shoulders on his back and his head and shoulders, knees and his tail. Over here, we're gonna make his tail like that. I have this big chunky brush, so it makes it a little bit harder. There we go. Does that look like a bison to you? I need more brown paint. It looks a little too dark now. Okay, mix it up. Okay, that's better. It's not too dark now. <sighs> nice tail. Wow, it's starting to look like a bison. So now I would like to wait for this paint to dry. So I think we should sing another song. <gasps> Why don't we sing head, shoulders, knees, and tail? I don't have a tail. Do you have a tail? Hmm. Well, if we stand up, we can do head and shoulders, knees, and tail. And when we say tail, you can just wiggle. You're behind. And pretend you're wiggle, wagging your tail. Ready? Head and shoulders, knees and tail. Knees and tail, knees and tail. Head and shoulders, knees and tail. Eyes, ears, mouth and nose. Hmm, that doesn't really rhyme with tail. That's funny. Can you sing head and shoulders in French? Let's sing head and shoulders in French. Tête et peau, genou, orteil, genou, orteil, genou, orteil. Tête et peau, genou, orteil, les yeux, le nez, les oreilles et la bouche. I made it so it didn't rhyme that way too. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, I think it's dry enough. And if it's not, that's just fine. Now I'm going to use a little tiny bit of black to paint his snout, his nose, his big brown nose, and his horns. He's going to have big pointy horns and his ears, horns and snout and ears and what was the other one? Eyes, he needs eyes, he can't see. There we go. One eye, because we're looking at him at the side. He has an eye right there and some nice horns. Right here, his ear. There we go, that looks good. Now we can get creative and use our imagination. Where is this bison? Hmm. Is your bison in outer space, under the sea, on top of a mountain? Is he at a restaurant? Or is he visiting the monkeys in the zoo? Where do we usually find bison? We find bison on the prairie. That's right. So I am going to use my green pen to draw the grass on the prairie. Does it look like a bison to you? I think it looks like a bison. All right, let's draw a little bit of water for our bison friend to drink. Our bison is having a drink of water on the prairie. How's your painting going? What's your bison doing in your painting? I'll just use this color. And you know what I wanna do? I wanna put my initials on my painting. That's what real artists do. They put their name or their initials on their painting. So I put K 
K for Kate. And an F for my last name. I think this will do for now. Now it looks like my handprint and it also looks like a bison. That was a lot of fun. Thank you so much for doing your handprint bison painting with me. Whoa, do you know what? Next Tuesday is the first week of February. Do you know what we celebrate in February? There are two special days right in the middle of the month. What do we celebrate in February? We celebrate Valentine's Day and we celebrate Family Day. And both of these days, we celebrate love. And guess what? We have an exciting activity planned for February. I call it Project Love. If you live in or around Victoria, BC, you can sign up to receive materials for our special project and more in our Métis Interactive Kits by sending an email to us at kate at metis.ca. That's K-A-T-E at M-E-T-I-S dot C-A. And I'm excited because I have a kit right here to show you. This is our February kit. I'm so excited to share with you. But we have to keep it a secret for now because it's not February yet. We'll talk about Project Love next Thursday. But on Tuesday, what do you think Mo the Mouse and his friend Eagle are going to teach us about? Love, of course. I can't wait. That's all the time we have for today, my friends. Let's sing our goodbye song. The more we get together, 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 oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. So the more we get together, the happier we'll be. It made me very happy to do our bison handprint painting with you today. Um, I hope you had fun. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <sighs>